up YouTube um, status on the bike here things are going real good um, ever since I installed these little uh, keepers back here uh, these are really really ugly so please just bear with me but ever since I installed these keepers uh, tension on the belt's been perfect I haven't had one single kick of the belt so far um, getting a lot more reliable as far as that goes the, the tension's great the tension is super super tight and um, I'm able to angle, you know, one hub forward, one hub rearward, and the same thing with this guy. And then when I'm done, I just torque the snot out of everything. So, they're a little bit ugly at the moment here. I might do something about that. Um, I'm definitely going to do something about that. But for the moment, I'm going to leave them as be. Check out this drum brake right here. Excuse me, this disc brake assembly. This is off a go-kart or a motorcycle or something. But this sucker's heavy duty. And as you guys have noticed, I uh, piggybacked it right onto the gear. I have uh, D and B to thank from motors, uh, MotorBicycling.com. That was awesome find right there. He just hooked it up with that piece. As you guys can see, I just drilled one hole for the mounting bracket right here, and that's a quarter inch. Um, I'm even going to replace that guy with something a little bit tougher. This is just a quarter inch screw that I had floating around. My only concern is I'm just hanging off of one nut, and that's all the room I have right there. You notice that you know another eighth of an inch and I'm contacting the gear so I just welded up a little bracket and um, just temporarily to this other bracket coming off the side of this thing hopefully you guys can see that I'm squeezing the pad that brings that guy forward um, I don't know how much you guys can see it's compressing that disc right there that uh, semi metallic or whatever it is so that's working beautifully tab is working like a charm I'm just flying up the freaking driveway here, just jumping up this thing, it's incredible. I wish you guys at home could see how much, like, you know, there's, it looks a little bit steeper than it does on the video, but it's a good incline right here, and I'm just flying up this thing without even trying. Gas tank working, no real complaints there. Um, I just welded on some brackets just temporarily. Hardware it came with is just garbage, um, whatever, what do I expect from China? It didn't come with the actual tap, so I don't know. I'm getting some leakage here with some gasoline. I don't like that, but at the same time, it seems to be working for the minute. I don't know. i got to come up with a better solution as far as that goes because it looks like it is leaking gasoline. Um, it's doing its job, though. It's working great. Kill switch is working great. I wasn't crazy about this thing when it first showed up. But I, I, you know, it's funny, like I got on the bike and I started trying to throttle up by squeezing this thing just out of instinct here. So I, I think it's a good idea to uh, be switching it because I didn't want to get into the habit of squeezing this when I'm on a bike, you know, motorcycle or whatever, to try and throttle up. It's junky, it's plastic, but it works. Um, I'm unhappy with how much my gasoline is leaking out of this thing right here. That's ticking me off. But, whatever. Oh yeah, the air filter came off as I was riding it. But really, in the grand scheme of things, that's really not so much a bigger problem. Uh, that's about it for now, YouTube. Everything's running pretty good.